Hello everyone, it's been a while, but today is a special day. New creative update brought a lot of new things and especially new settings on a reference device. Those settings are really useful and now open for so many possibilities, but it also make my play on the lead system completely obsolete. So it's time for me to upgrade it and make something that was impossible before, a live leaderboard. And because Twin, Immature and Ruddy peer pressured me to make a video about it, well, there it is, the live leaderboard system by Cross McPenna. That's right, you can now show a live leaderboard in your game with as many players as you want. Granted, you have enough memory and channels, because this system is a tad more complicated than the play on the lead system. It will use reference devices, triggers and switches. I won't go into details on why I use specific things to keep the tutorial easy to replicate. But I will let a comment under the video to explain why I had to use individual switches and triggers with no delay for those who are interested. So let's get into the tutorial. The thing that made this system possible is those four new options in the reference device. Update registered players have conditions now. One player update transmit on. One update fails transmit on. And one player is replaced transmit on. So basically what we are going to do is every time one player increase its score, it will check if it has more than the first player. If not, it will check for the second one, etc. until you find a reference that has a lower score than is. If so, then the previously registered player will check for the next one in the list. The switches on the side are here to erase your previous placement if you rank up in rank. So the player above you can take this place. And the triggers are here to have the correct delay for the action set before to occur. Okay, that's the only technical talk I will have. Now let's see the settings. If you're not familiar with mechanics, I recommend to just do everything I do and nothing more. For the first player reference, you will set hologram off, color to whatever you prefer, phase off, player detail mid player, curve no, set to track score, elimination walk 2 if that's what your game is about, update registered player if stat is higher, register with 1, when player update 21, when update fails 2, when player is replaced 32. This may look confusing but you'll have to trust me on this one. Now you can copy your play reference and just add 1 to every channel. So for the second one, register with 2, when player update 22, when update failed 3, when player replaced 33. Except you will add clear player when receiving from 12. After that you can continue to copy as many players in the board as you like. Just add one to every channel from the previous one. In my example, I have 5 slots, so the last reference register with channel 5. When that is done, let's do the switches. There is one switch for every place but the first one. They're all set to store state player yes and check at game start disabled. The one corresponding to the second place have those settings. Turn on with 22, turn off with 12, check state with 21. And if on when checked, transmit on 12. Now same as for the references, all you have to do is copy it and increase all channel by 1 until you reach the last place. So my last one is 25, 15, 24, 15. And now for the last step, the triggers. Same thing as the switches, one for every places but the first one. All they do is be triggered by a channel and transmit to another one. It might seem useless but the system breaks without that. So channel 32 transmit on 2, 33 on 3, 34 on 4, 35 on 5 and you can keep going if your leaderboard is longer. And now if you have followed everything you just need to connect that system with your way of scoring points in your game. This is a simple version and can only handle linear scoring, 1x1 one one or 5x5 five five for example. It will not handle very well if you have multiple amounts to score. Perfect for elimination based game or capture games for example. All you have to do is link the channel transmitted to grant your score, in my example channel 10. In your map it can be a score manager or an elimination manager. And get it through a trigger that transmit on 1. This trigger is also important, if you link channel 10 directly, it will not work properly. And there you go, you can see now the system working live with the help of my friends Enza and Mention. And as you can see, every time I up in rank, the other players go down accordingly. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you've managed to replicate it. If so, don't hesitate to tag me on Twitter with the map you've used it on, 
and I would give it a like. As always, it was Cross. Have a great day.